ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पाक टेक यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू इंसर्ट ए पुश बटन विद इन दी जी यू आई ऑफ पाई चाम और पाइथन एज वी नो दैट जी यू आई इज यूजली मेड बाई ए मॉड्यूल नेम्ड एज दी ठीक इंटर विद इन दी पाइथन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू इम्पोर्ट सर्टन लाइब्रेरीज is we are also doing some sort of work with the message box so we we also need to import the message box module which lies within the tkinter so we will write from tkinter import message box so message box is the sub module or function of the main library that is the tkinter so in this way we have called this message box function now we also need to write import tkinter okay this is for to import this main tkinter library then we need to write window which is just a variable okay window is nothing but just a variable to store or to represent our a library of tkinter dot tk so now window is representing our tkinter dot tk and it is the object of this library we can say so wherever you need to call this tkinter dot tk we just need to write window and it will be called after it we need to write window dot geometry geometry and window dot geometry window is actually representing the main window of the gui that is the because tkinter module is obviously used for to make a gui so window is the gui and dot geometry is the function r the method which is used to represent its size so we can say 400 cross 300 okay we can say so so window dot geometry 400 cross 300 so we will write window dot main loop okay main loop and window dot main loop function will run it used to listen it again and again just like a uh, continuous for now you can see that our gui is created now we need to insert a button a push button in this gui so here in between window dot geometry and window dot main loop we need to create an object that is called as the bt which is actually a variable okay variable you can write any other word instead of this bt no need to sp specifically writing this thing okay so bt is equal to tkinter dot button now this button function is used to represent the push button within the gui so write in the in the bracket you need to write window window means that on this window on the window of gui this button will be there okay this button will be there and what you need to write on the button you can write text is equal to write uh, click okay we just need to write click so this is here uh you you also need to change it not the single quotation but the double quotations like this after it we need to write background color background of this color which is represented by bg bg is equal to uh, orange and what about foreground foreground is equal to black okay we need to write black so foreground color of this text is or button is black and background color of button is orange now 
what about calling command command means that which command we need to or which function we need to call so whenever we will press the button button will go for to see where it is where there is the function clicked so obviously uh, you, you can see this red line underneath this clicked word because it is uh, not uh, created yet so okay so we will write def that is we, we are going to define a method or function so this is def clicked okay def click now you can see that this is okay now why it is so because it is it is defined here okay and this is colon so we need to write whenever this button will be clicked control will go from this click to this clicked and read all the all these statements which are inside this def click callback function so it it used to whenever we will click the button a message box will be popped up okay so message box dot show info okay we will write okay so it is message box so it is message box okay you need to make it right like this okay so def clicked and here clicked and all this so now oh, we need to remove the semicolon one more thing in 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 the last we need to adjust the position of button so bt is the object of button so we will write bt dot create column is equal to one and rows is equal to one why it is so because we want to adjust uh, in row one and column one on the gui we want to adjust our button so now we need to okay so now one more thing we also need to insert these two uh, parameter insertion brackets here within the button click okay so now we need to run it out okay now this is our button okay can we change the color to red can we yes we can now if you want to change the color to red now our button is red and whenever we will click it out we got that our message box is popped up so in this way we can create a simple button pushback function within the python pycharm and the module we have used for to insert this button is the tkinter module so hopefully you got the concept that how we can make a program for the push button within the pycharm python so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe